knife horizontally with a series of nuts which can be set for each type of bed knife. Once the nuts have been calibrated to within one thousandth of an inch, they are not moved. Precision pins are mounted in the appropriate nuts, the pivot pins are replaced in the bed knife, and mounting becomes quick and easy, as well as ensuring that the front face of the bed knife will be parallel to the mounting pins to within one to two thousandths of an inch. To grind a bed knife, we first move the alignment pins to the position for the bed knife we are going to grind. Then, we just load and grind. Okay, I'm mounting the knife onto the pallet, making sure it's sitting down even on the mounting surface, and pushed back gently against the locating pins. Gently locking the knife down, bringing the wheel in. Locking the traverse. Starting the grind. Now how many passes will this take? This will take about uh, 10 passes total. I'll do two passes uh, at each infeed, infeed two thousandths each pass, each time I infeed. It depends on how much metal you're removing as to how often and how much you do infeed. As a rule of thumb, I always infeed uh, two thousandths. Uh, the front face, you're typically removing much less material than the top face. So I'll uh, infeed every pass on the front face, every other on the top face as a general. Now do you front do you do just the front face sometimes? Occasionally, yeah, I just let the knife tell me what it needs. Mm -hmm. Now what uh, kind of what kind of blade are you running here? Is this a tournament blade, super tournament or what? Uh, this is the uh, Toro Super Tournament. Toro Super Tournament. Mm -hmm. How many grinds can you usually get out of a bed knife blade like that? Uh, depending on rate of wear with top dressing, uh, three, four, five grinds. Depends. Because typically, uh, when people talk about those, they talk about one or two grinds. Oh, uh, we get we get a lot more than that out of them. I mean, with somebody else's bed knife grinder. We get. Uh, what I like about this is uh, you have real finite control on both faces at the same time. So if I see that I can take a little bit more off of the front and get a good cutting edge without having to come in on the top, then I'll do it that way. Yeah, we I've only inset 4,000 on the top now. I'll take six off of One more pass ought to do it. I'll check the, the cutting edge at that point. See if I need to take off any more material. Look good? Looks good.